Dr. Blake Beckstein from the University of Texas at Tyler, and we're doing work on diagnostics of Liberobacter uh, solanaceum in insects and in plants. Uh, as you can imagine, it's very important to know whether or not the pathogen is in insect populations or if the pathogen is in plants that are showing symptoms. And it's also important to know how much of the pathogen is there. Sometimes titers of the pathogen is so low that it actually will not be transmitted. And so uh, that means that insects, uh, insect populations may actually have the pathogen moving around inside their population without actually causing problems. So one thing that we want to understand is how do low population titers uh, relate to disease progression. And so we've been using some next-gen sequencing platforms. Uh, over time, these uh, services are becoming less and less expensive as the technology gets more and more uh, use. And so we're able to uh, look at very, very, very low levels below the level of real-time PCR uh, pathogen diagnostics. And so we're trying to translate that to field research.